the sixth and final look at my soundtrack and compilation CDs. Hoi hoi everybody and welcome to part six of my look at my soundtrack and compilation CDs. This is the last lot. Uh, things I always mention now at the start of each one. A playlist to watch the first five parts plus all the rest of my music collection. I collect Beatles cover, obscure weird Beatles covers, Bond soundtracks, lots of compilations I buy to help me compile music quizzes and I buy quite often by the British Awards compilation CDs as they're a good overview of that year. Okay, this is the Collector's Limited Edition of Doctor Who series 1 and 2 of the New Who music. Um, I do like Murray Gold's music for Doctor Who, did get a bit repetitive towards the end of his time and it was often too loud in the mix but he did some good stuff and um, this is a good one. This also features Song for Ten and Love Don't Roam, which both have vocals by Neil Hannon of Divine Comedy, my favourite band. Um, this came with a badge as well, which is somewhere. This is the soundtrack to Spectre, the Bond film. Um, not a great soundtrack, not particularly memorable, but one for the collection. It doesn't have Sam Smith's writing on the wall. The vocal version does have an instrumental version of it on here. Uh, sticking with the Bonds, this is the 50th anniversary edition of the Doctor No soundtrack. So this has got all the tracks that were on the original soundtrack album, plus a lot more. Um, including some tracks that were sort of on here twice in different versions and all sorts. But yeah, nice little compilation of the soundtrack. This is a two CD set of the two Moulin Rouge soundtracks, so uh, music from Moulin Rouge 1 and 2. I really, I got this, I saw the film, loved it, bought this straight away. Uh, it's got some really good stuff on here, both sung by the cast and other stuff. There's Lady Marmalade by uh, Christina Aguilera, Lil' Kim, Maya and Pink and Missy Elliott. Um, and then yeah, Fatboy Slim does stuff on here, Bowie does stuff on here. Uh, Bono, Beck, I say the cast obviously as well. And then the second one has got lots of sort of alternate versions as well as st stuff that was missing from the first one. Yeah, really like that. This is one of the Brit Awards soundtracks, uh, uh, sound compilations rather. This is 2006's. Um, these are dub two double sided discs. One side is the music, the second side is videos and they're more or less the same except uh, Madonna wouldn't let hang, hung up video appear on here but I think everything else, the same tracks are on both if you see what I mean. Uh, nice mixture, Madonna, Robbie, Sugar Babes, Girls Aloud, Will Young, McFly, Britney. Akon, Faithless, Coldplay, Gorillaz, Oasis, Kaiser Chiefs, Franz Ferdinand, The Darkness, Basement Jacks, Jimmy Raquai, Natalie Imbruglia, Jem, uh, Kate Bush, Paul Weller, Paul McCartney, David Gray, amongst others. Uh, part one, I think it was, I showed you the soundtrack CD for Jane Silent Bob Strike Back with the orchestral soundtrack to it. This is the original release, which is all the songs from it. Um, Probably the big, most famous thing that came specifically from this was Afro Man's Because I Got High. Uh, it's also got PJ Harvey on here and Bon Jovi and Steppenwolf and Dave Perner. <coughs> and then it's got Morris Day and the Time doing Jungle Love, which as a Prince fan is obviously a must have. This I actually, we actually won, uh, although nowadays I'm the sole compiler of music quizzes for the club. Um, in previous years other people have done some and a number of times we have won them and one year this was the prize, the best rap album in the world ever. Um, the person giving the prize out thought it was a joke prize, I thought it was a fucking good prize. Um, there's some good stuff on here. 
uh, Coolio, Warren G, Arrested Development, White Lines Don't Do It by Grandmaster Flash and Melly Mel, Ski Lows I Wish, which is a great track, Shaggy, House of Pain, Jump Around, Boom Shape of Room by Jazzy Jeff and Refresh Prince, MC Hammers You Can't Touch This, BC Boys You Gotta Fight For Your Right To Party, Walk This Way Run DMC, uh, K7's Come Baby Come Baby Baby Come Come, uh, Apache Indian, Boom Shakalak, Salt and Pepper with On Vogue, What A Man, that's just this one, Sugar Hill Gang, Message, Don't Believe The Hype, Me, Myself and I by De La Soul, uh, Set Adrift On Memory Bliss, PM Dawn, Brown Sugar, D'Angelo, Tribe Called Crest, Can I Kick It, Money Love, It's A Shame, it's just some really good stuff on there. Uh, another Bond compilation, this was the one bought out in 2008, so that would have been the 46th anniversary, yeah, that, basically they bring one of these out every time there's a new film, um, so this has got all the Bond songs up and to, uh, you know my name, Chris Cornell from Casino Royale. Also includes Surrender, which is the outro track to Tomorrow Never Dies. Uh, anything else around the first one? Both on a Magic Secret Service and We Have All the Time in the World. Then it's got uh, John Arnold doing the James Bond theme. There's a bonus track previously unreleased. Not quite sure what that is, don't remember. Then it's got a DVD with a DVDs. With the videos for View to a Kill, Few Eyes Only, Golden Eye, Living Daylights, All Time High, Goldfinger, Live at Royal Albert Hall in 1974, and a documentary about the Bond sound. So that was a nice little compilation. Um, basically, just got it to update the stuff that wasn't on the 25th anniversary one. I love Bugsy Malone, the film and the music. And this is all the music from Bugsy Malone. Oh, just so much good stuff on there. Back to the Bond soundtracks, this is a man with a golden gun. Uh, again, not one of John Barry's best. I think he was a bit rushed for time and he did this one, if memory serves correctly. Uh, nothing extra on this either that wasn't on the original album release. This was a giveaway, but it was an album I would have bought anyway. Uh, this is a West Side Story. Which, together with Jesus Christ Superstar, is my favourite musical. Uh, this is the soundtrack to the film. It's complete, all 15 tracks. It's really good. This was a double CD that was released for Radio 1's 50th anniversary? 40th anniversary, 2007. Um, and it's contemporary bands, you know, bands that were around in 2007, doing number ones from each year, each of the 40 years. So Kaiser Chiefs did Flowers in the Rain, which is, actually they might not be number ones, but they're all hits from the year. Uh, Flowers in the Rain by The Move, which was the first song ever played on Radio 1. Uh, Robbie Williams doing Lola by The Kinks. The Streets doing Your Song by Elton John. Uh, Kylie doing Love is a Drug by Roxy Music. Franz Ferdinand doing Bowie's Sound and Vision. Keen doing Under Pressure by Queen and David Bowie. Uh, McFly doing Town Called Malice by The Jam, Lily Allen doing Pretenders Don't Get Me Wrong, Stereophonics doing You Sexy Thing by Hot Chocolate, Mark Ronson doing You All I Need To Get By by Mary J Blige, Natasha Beddingfield doing Ray of Light Madonna, Girls Aloud doing Teenage Dirtbag by Wheatus, and so on. So some good stuff on there. Uh, one of my Beatles this is, I've already shown volume one of this, this is a reggae tribute to the Beatles volume two. Uh, reggae st stars singing the songs of John Paul, George and Ringo. Uh, yeah, like the first one, this has also got sort of solo tracks on here, so My Sweet Lord and Happy Xmas War is over. Uh, Ken Booth's on this. The Heptones. Dawn Penn. Probably the only acts whose name I'm familiar with. Meet Recovers, a tribute to the Beatles. Uh, God, that's dusty. <laughs> These have been up there for ages. So don't come down very often. Um, 
This is a nice mixture. Uh, Earth, Wind & Fire, Aretha Franklin, Little Richard, Nils Lofgren, Flaming Groovies, Nielsen, Mamas and Papas, The Grassroots, Richie Havens, Todd, Rung Todd Rungren, Susie and the Banshees, Breakfast Club, Wilson Pickett and Ike and Tina Turner doing various Beatles covers. This is Octopussy. Uh, this is quite a nice one. It's got, got a little bit of dialogue in on here as well. Uh, it's actually quite a good soundtrack, Octopussy. The film's not magnificent, has its moments. But um, All Time High, I think, is an underrated theme song. And there's some nice bits of music on that. Uh, John Barry's last Bond score, and one of his best, in my opinion, Living Daylights. Uh, it's obviously got Aha's theme tune on it as well. And The Pretenders songs, If There Was A Man, and Where Has Everybody Gone. And this comes with nine bonus tracks that weren't on the original album as well. Oh, I did say this was going to be the last part. But, yeah, this is going to be a long part, sorry. Uh, this is, in actually, this is neither a soundtrack nor um, compilation. This is an audio book of a recording of Blood on Satan's Claw, uh, which I got last year. I think it was last year. Yeah. Uh, Mark Gatiss, Reece Shearsmith, Linda Hayden, some good people reading this. This, oh, let's get these up here. This is the deluxe edition of the soundtrack to Popeye. Um, I have this on vinyl, but only the original C what's on CD1. So, which is the music from the film. Um, all the songs from this were written by Harry Nielsen and CD2, uh, all his demos. But I love these songs and that film. Uh, back to the Bond, this is Spy Who Loved Me. Uh, music by Marvin Hamlish. The music on here is actually not the same as is heard in the film. These are all re-recordings. Um, there were some, some good bits on this. It was a bit, went a bit disco at times. But nobody does it better. It's obviously one of the great Bond theme tunes. Uh, Bond 77's good. This is Richard O'Brien's Rocky Horror Show, The Whole Gory Story. This is a recording of the Rocky Horror Show from 1991? 1990. Uh, this was when it came back. It hadn't been put on over here for a long time. It went back to the West End. Uh, Adrian Edmondson played Brad. Gina Bellman played Janet. Uh, Tim McInerney is Frank Converter. Uh, Eddie Tudor Pole is Riff Raff. Oh, there's other people. <laughs> Here, where's the cast list? Uh, oh, don't tell me it doesn't say on this one. Oh, um, oh, what's her name? She was in EastEnders as Mary. Played Columbia. Oh, where's the cast list? It was on the cassette version, which I had for years. But it's not in there. Anyway, it's got a really good cast and it's a great recording. It's the whole thing, including all the dialogue and everything. And it's the first version of it I ever had, which I had on, as I say, on cassette. And it remains my favourite. This is music from and inspired by the motion picture Begin Again. Uh, various tracks. Adam Levine had a lot to do with it and sings a number of tracks on here. But the star of the film was Keira Knightley and she sings on here as well. She's got a very good voice. She also sings on another one which should be in here somewhere. Yep, which you will see in a minute. Uh, not this. This is Domino, which is another Keira Knightley film. This is the soundtrack. Um, there's some dialogue of Keira on here. Basically, the main reason I got it. Um, but there's some good stuff on there as well. It's a bit, bit hip hoppy. This I only listened to this morning. This is the Help War Child album, um, which I picked up in a charity shop not that long ago. Uh, it's really good. It's got Oasis and Friends and Raboo Radley, some Stone Roses and Radiohead and Portishead and Massive Attack, Suede, Stereo MCs, Charlatans and the Chemical Brothers, Sinead O'Connor, Levelers, Manic Street Preachers, Terror Vision. Uh, KLF under the guise of One World Orchestra, Terry Hall and Salad, Nana Cherry, 
Blur and Paul Weller and Friends, which include Paul McCartney and Noel Gallagher. <coughs> this is a recent purchase. I only listened to this the other day. This is a soundtrack to Moonraker. Um, again, it's a good soundtrack. It's not great. Um, and this hasn't got anything extra on it. But Shirley Bassey's Moonraker, another great, great song. This is a soundtrack to Series 11, the most recent series of Doctor Who. Uh, this is got, done by the new composer Sagan Akinola. Apologies if I'm saying that wrong. I really like the music in the show. I particularly like the new opening title music and end credit music. So I thought I'd pick this up. Um, it's not a great listen though. It's just sort of... Pop, just in the background, just noise. I didn't overly enjoy it. It had its moments, but wasn't great. Uh, I think I showed this in my box set one, but I wasn't sure where I was going to put it because it's only small. Um, I'm 99% certain I did show it in my box set one. But this is a mixture of CDs uh, based around the Perfumo affair, as I think I've already shown you this. So I won't go into any more detail. Uh, this is the other Kira, one where Kira sings. This is The Edge of Love, which is one of my favourite films. And... Kira plays a singer in here and she does a couple of songs. Uh, Blue Tahitian Moon, Hang Out with Stars in Indiana, maybe it's because I love you too much, Drifting and Dreaming. Uh, Suggs is on here, Beth Rowley's on here, Susie Sue's on here. It's a nice album. This is And This Is Me, Britain's Finest Thespians Sing. It's a compilation of various actors singing. A uh, few of these are on the Carry On CDs that I've shown on previous video, but then it's also got people like Oliver Reed and Ian McShane and Ian Carmichael and Charlie Drake, and Spike, mm. Stanley Unwin. There's a few nice bits on there. This is soundtrack to Pulp Fiction, my favourite, or oh, my second favourite film rather. Um, another great soundtrack, much like Reservoir Dogs, which I showed a few videos ago. Um, and like that, this is compiled by Quentin Tarantino and it's got the dialogue in between tracks and everything. Really good. There's a charity shop pur purchase, as was this. Craig Charles's Funk and Soul Classics. Uh, this is three discs of various Funk and Soul tracks f dating from the 50s or 60s right up to date. All sorts of stuff on here. Uh, it's a really good compilation. And finally... I uh, showed this on the unboxing when the goodies covered in dust. Um, goodies bundle came. Uh, this is the Cricklewood tapes. So these are all that's left of the incidental music that Bill Oddy wrote for the goodies, basically. Um, but some really good stuff on there. So that's it. That is all my soundtracks and compilations over six videos. God, if that took six videos, God knows how long the rest of them are going to take. <laughs> uh, some of those I'll probably go a lot quicker on because I won't have to explain what's on them. If you see what I mean? Like with compilations, I've been reading various artists. Uh, we shall see. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Bye.